with international travel easier and more affordable than ever, people are exploring the world more than ever. Interestingly though, record numbers are also choosing to stay at home for their summer break. Three quarters of us will take a holiday in the UK during 2014, as holidaymakers realise the true potential of our own country. Breaks in London, Edinburgh, Blackpool, the beautiful countryside of the Lake District, the Norfolk Broads and North Wales, and the beaches of Brighton, Cornwall and Devon are among the top British destinations. We've been visiting one of those top destinations to explore the extensive holiday options and beautiful surroundings to be discovered. We take to the water to find out more. Today we're out in the Norfolk Broads on our next generation cruiser, the Carousel. We've been uh, providing Rich, uh, Richardson's boating holidays for 70 years now. This is our 70th year and um, we're going along just exploring the great uh, scenery that uh, the Norfolk Broads has to offer. Yeah, the great thing about uh, a Norfolk Broads boating holiday is that it's diverse, so you can uh, take activities as walking. The, uh, there's 190 miles of uh, Broadland walks. You can even, the Wherryman's Walk, which is the most famous walk, uh, actually takes you from the city of Norwich to the coastal resort of Great Yarmouth. So uh, also there's canoeing. Um, you can hire your own dinghy from, uh, from, from us, uh, which allows you to explore the sort of more secluded um, dikes along the way. And, uh, and again, at the same time, is you can uh, hire a sail for the dinghy. So there's, there's plenty to do, there's plenty to do. So today we're going to journey from Horning Marina to Stalham Marina. And along the way, this is a really peaceful route where you'll see St Bennett's Abbey in the distance, Howe Hill in the distance. We'll cross Barton Broad with its, uh, where there tends to be a lot of sailing craft. And then we'll go down the Lower Ant to uh, arrive at Stalham. The Norfolk Broads originally is actually man-made because it's the flooding of medieval peat diggings. So, uh, so the hu you know human beings had a, a hand in it, and then uh, nature has taken it over and uh, created this unique environment. So there's 126 miles of lock-free boating, which makes it easier for for the customers to navigate. Um, the only the only thing we that you do have to be mindful of is the bridges and the bridge heights. Yeah, I think, I think the good thing about, uh, again, the boating holiday is that everything on board gives it a home from home feel. So if you want to cater for yourselves and moor up at a secluded location, drop the mud weight and then open up the uh, canopy and uh, soak in our fresco soul dining on board, you can. But also the Norfolk Broads has a great range of restaurants, pubs and eateries. And, uh, and also there's publications that can help you choose where to go, such as the publication the Broads Authority do, the Eating Out Guide. I'm Jackie. And I'm Chris. I'm Stuart. And I'm Charlie. And we're the Wilkinson family. And we're on board Broadsman 6 on a Norfolk Broads boating holiday with Richardson's. Now we come once a year um, in the Easter holidays. Um, it's still relatively quiet on the Broads, so that's quite why we like it. Um, pretty much get good weather. We did occasionally you might get a spot of rain, but it's uh, springtime, so it's good weather, and yeah, it's uh, it's a good start to the year for us. Mm. Yeah, it's the first holiday to look forward to, isn't it? Mm. Once Christmas is over, um, you think, yeah, we've got something to look forward to now, so it's good. We visit places we've not been to before and mm. find new things to do, can't we? The Wilkinsons, they they've come with us many times, and uh, they're they're big fans of the Broads. You know, they've got the bug. And that's what tends to happen with our customers. We tend to find that once people find the Norfolk Broads and a boating holiday, you know, it is, it is a holiday that you will want to repeat again and again. Um, I once went on a boating holiday back in 1990 with a group of friends a long time ago. And I think really that set the seed and got the bug for me. And then when the kids were old enough, that we thought they were safe enough on the boat, we booked a holiday and chose Richardson's. They had lots and lots of boats for lots and lots of budget. Mm -hmm. um, and what boat did we go on first? Amber Gem 3. Amber 3, that was our first boat wasn't it? I enjoy coming out because we get new 
boats every time, but sometimes we have the same when we enjoy it. And uh, and when we go to new places, you, it's like new nature trails to explore, and I really like that too. The three main um, factors that people tend to choose when um, when deciding where to go on holiday is price, accommodation and weather. And as we know the UK's weather isn't predictable, uh, but what we have is we have a price for everyone, we have the accommodation to suit everyone, and no matter what the weather is, Norfolk Broads takes on a great, great difference, you know, from the sunshine of today to the slightly duller day to the different seasons, the Norfolk Broads, because it is, you know, formed by nature, it's nature's theme park, it, it takes a different view and aspect, so you can join it at any time. So Richardson's prides itself on having a great range of boats and uh, being the biggest operator in the area, you know, we, we can actually say that we have the greatest range of boats. So we will have from two berth to 12 berth, so you can have a romantic getaway or you can have a, gr a group of friends or a group of two families together um, um, celebrating a special birthday or, or an anniversary or something like that. This is what we see a lot of. Um, and also we have a range of two star to five star boats. So we've got a price banding um, for everyone. Yeah, I think uh, when people are looking for a, a UK holiday, which was certainly highlighted when the recession of 2008 was here, you know, people looked at different holiday choices and not just automatically going abroad. And I think for us that was a, that was a great time because sometimes you don't realise what's on your doorstep. And uh, rather than travelling, you know, halfway across the world to find a destination and a great experience, you know, m many of our customers come from a two hour drive time, which means they don't have to have the hassle of going through the airports, you know, they don't lose a day of their holiday. And, the, and again, the great thing is that uh, the journey is the most special part of a Norfolk Broads holiday because the boat is the relaxing element of it. But it's, it's almost like there's so many different activities to see and do. It's almost like walking around a theme park as such, but you're not, you're traveling by boat. You know, you're relaxing in between. You know, the children having fun in between. And I think that's really what young families, when they come on the broads, they, they actually are surprised at how their younger children enjoy and soak up the experience. And I think the misconception, in actual fact, is Mr. Skips a couple of generations that uh, boating really is for everyone of all ages, from young families to retired people to groups of friends, whether they be male and female. You know, we, we have a complete mix of people and everyone who comes, you know, they do really say, wow, we didn't realise it was going to be like this. We join the Wilkinson family as they disembark their boat and head out for a nature walk. Yeah, I think there's, there's a, a holiday for, for all age groups, really. Um, elderly people can take things as, as, as slow as they like and quiet moorings and young people or young couples with families. As you see, we just took the nature trail walk we've just done, um, and there's uh, more exciting things to do. For example, we've got Great Yarmouth, as I mentioned before. So it's um, yeah, it's it's good fun. I think um, I mean with the Wilkinsons, you know, they're 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 a family, you know, and you can see how much the children enjoy the the broads and and getting back to the nature side of things. You know, I think it's all too often we're we're sitting in our living rooms in front of our tablets. And, uh, and not conversing as families so much. But with the broads, you know, you can get away from all that. Although we do provide Wi-Fi if, uh, if necessary to uh, keep in contact with day-to-day -day communications. Um, but um, yeah, I just think it's a case that it, it is unique. You know, I cannot overemphasize the word unique. It's magical. It's, um, it's, a, it's a case that you can get away from it all if you want to, you know, and completely relax. What isn't there to do for families on the board really? You've got quiet moorings for peaceful types, you've got nature trails for adventurous types, Norwich and Great Yarmouth for city sightseeing. And amusements and things like yeah, that. Yeah, nightclubs, yeah. bustle and bustle. There's endless pubs if 
club foods you're seeing, you can have meals. It's, it's anything and everything to do. So many places to discover, you know, you can't discover them all in one holiday. It takes three, four, five, even more holidays to, to really get your sea legs really around here. So there's so much to do. Mm. Uh, average day is uh, we get up normally quite early with the sun. We get breakfast, cooked or cereals. Um, then we set sail. We like to get to places at early, more up early. It's nice and quiet in the river, isn't it? it yeah, it's th we have that early, it's quiet. We, uh, we do lots of nature walks, yeah. don't we? Or if there's places to go and visit, we're going to do them. And then we come back and then we just relax, do homework and puzzles and thing, games, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, and then just, just relax for the rest of the day and then get dinner. Yeah, in beer in hand or something, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the sun. Yeah. Well, from us, when we first were introduced to Richardson's in 2010, there's lots of information online, so you can do lots of research and find out. Um, as I said, there's lots and lots of boats, but they produce guides, there's maps, um, you can download tide tables, lots of information. Um, and then when we picked up the boat, uh, th on this occasion we haven't been on board before, so our guide was Simon. Was it, it was Simon, mm. wasn't it? Yeah, he was very helpful, explained everything on the boat. So you're, you're at ease as soon as you pick up the boat and it's as much or as little information as you need. Because we've been before, he was quite happy that, that we could we could sit down without actually a trial run, but he was very adamant that we, we knew everything was on the boat. So it was good to get away nice and early mm. and we had an extra almost half a day really, so yeah. it's brilliant, yeah. Join us after the break for more on holidays in the UK. Looking for a holiday or short break with a difference, with something for everyone? A Richardson's boating holiday on the Norfolk Broads is the answer. We've got a great range of boats, and it's easier than you think. You decide what to see and do. Visit fun family attractions, have active outdoor days soaking up breathtaking scenery and wildlife, or simply relax on board. It's not just a unique destination, it's a great adventure. Welcome back to the Norfolk Broads. We've been holidaying with a young family on board a boat, taking in the beautiful scenery and diverse tourist attractions of the area. With more than 125 miles of lock-free navigable waterways, rare wildlife, countryside walks and tourist activities in every direction, it's a destination that is proving popular with a broad demographic. So when you book our holiday with Richardson's, we've got highly skilled uh, sales advisors on the telephone and also our website has all the information you'll need to book online. And then once you've booked online, uh, we provide a lot of information before you arrive on the website to just understand the waterways, maybe plan your route. We have some suggested routes. And then when you arrive, you, you know, you pretty much you know, you know where you're going to go, you know where you're going to head for, you know the time limits you have. And then you're, um, when you come into the reception, you're then given all the information you need and the boat manual, which is the Bible for the, for the week. It has all the information you're needing for a safe stay. And then you're provided with a trial run by one of our skilled trial run drivers. And this is where another misconception can be that driving a boat is difficult because after a 30 to 40 minute trial run, you, you, you will be real confident that you'll be confident to take the boat away, you know, and have all the necessary skills to really enjoy your holiday safely. And that's the main thing, that you enjoy your holiday in a safe manner, you know, and this is why we, we must advise that you wear life jackets at all times, because safety is paramount. The first time I came out on the boat, I was really, nervous especially about the mooring up and everything um, but as the days went on it got easier and easier um, and now I'm a bit more confident unless it's absolutely blustery. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah I was, I was nervous having sort of cast my mind back to when I first came on the broads and it was it was very blustery then so it's quite difficult but yeah the first couple of days you're quite nervous and you're worried about what people can think about me driving and then yeah, a couple of days later you get so used to it, it's just second nature and you think, well, why was I worried? It was good fun. Yeah, I think uh, the Broads is popular because, again, it's just got that 
such a diverse offer. You know, so, so today we're, we're now traveling along the river, you know, at a gentle pace, but we could pull up in the, in the city of Norwich and we could uh, look at the castle, the cathedral, or, or, or the great shops that it has to offer. And the same time is we could uh, go to the coastal town of Great Yarmouth where the sandy beaches and all the fun of the fair activities, you know, taking on the amusement rides. You know, it is, it is, it's, it's almost your experience, you know, from one extreme to the other. And I think this is what appeals to, you know, the visitors that we see. Yeah, so this is a lovely stretch of the river and we're just meandering down, you know, taking it at our own pace with the wind pump there that used to drain the marshland. And up on the top of the hill is Howe Hill. And from Howe Hill, with its beautiful gardens, and that's actually in the centre of a nature reserve, you can take a walk from Howe Hill back to Ludden Bridge that we've passed. And again, you can see people walking and just in, enjoying the, the scenery. And here, we've got a place where the uh, the Broads Authority offer 24 hour free moorings and people are taking advantage of these. Well we're off to Coltishall now this afternoon, we've not been there before, uh, which means we've got to go under Roxham Bridge, uh, we need the pilot to go under the bridge, uh, and then we'll nice meander up the river, further up the Burr, to Coltishall on the Common, and then we'll have a, a meal at the pub there this evening, and just properly unwind and relax again, and then we'll, in the morning we'll head off back down the Burr through the bridge again, and just meander our way slowly for the next few days back up to Stalham and the River Ant. Um, I like it um, when um, we go to different places where we've never been before because it's like you really want to come there again because it's really fun and exciting and you get new things to do each time. So the Broads, um, the Norfolk Broads itself is part of the National Parks family and uh, I think that's been recognised because of the uniqueness of its flora and fauna. You know, there's species here that you will not see anywhere else uh, in the country or, or Europe. And, um, and I think that the, the way that it was formed by the flooding of medieval peat diggings, um, so humans had a hand in it, but then nature's taken over and because of, uh, because of the special environment it is, you know, we're, we're signed up to the green tourism, so we, we protect the environment. It's so important that we don't lose, you know, obviously we want as many holiday makers to enjoy this environment, but at the same time we must uh, make sure that we protect it. And that's why we've signed up to the green tourism to, you know, to, as a badge of our commitment and uh, the advice that we offer our holiday makers so that we do, we do not spoil it. Yeah, this is just an average an average day for us, really. We, we pick a nice, quiet mooring, um, we, we, whether it will or not have a, um, a nature trail. And if it has, all the better. We have a nice long walk, sometimes take a picnic, have a sit down, and then we under our way back to the boat, and then put our feet up and have a relax. Yeah, you two like to have a run around, don't you? So yeah. we normally let them run off and come back as and when. What's the great appeal of having a walk in the broads? You see, it's quite... Yeah, and also, you know, when you wake up in the morning on the boat, you've got the birds singing, and I, I quite like the idea of that. It's just it's, you don't get that at home. Well, you get the birds singing at home, but you've also got the road noise, and it's that's always in the way. So it's just the peace and tranquility. The, the kids can run off their energy. They sleep better at night. Don't wake up quite so early. <laughs> What have we been doing? Where have we just been? We've just been in a hide. Looking over. Looking over and. Um, Cockshoot Broads. Well what have you seen, Charlotte? Um, we've seen this swan for geese, um, a coo, and um, and on the other side of the bank we saw another hide. And again, the wildlife of the Broads is uh, from from birds to uh, to otters. You know, there's, and because of the unique destination that it is, you know, we've just recently reintroduced um, a crane that hasn't been in the area for a hundred hundreds of years. So I think um, it really does show that how special this environment is. What's your best bit? Um, the best part is just going on nature trails. You're a bit of a bug fiend, aren't you, really? <laughs> 
What about you, Charlotte? Um, I like the parts where he um, sets sail um, to different places because um, I like the way they're set out. What's your favourite place? My favourite place is um, here. Is that? Yeah, Cockshoot. Yeah, Cockshoot <laughs> So the thatched uh, building over there is, was an ice house where the old wherries, when the broads froze, they used to come up and break up all the ice and the wherries used to take them from here to the Lowestoft fish market for packing the fish in. So it's quite an incredible operation where you think the whole water was frozen, the wherries broke up the ice and then transported it back to the Lowestoft fish market. So we're now entering Barton Broad, which is an internationally recognised wetland. And um, this is very popular with sailing craft. And in actual fact, Lord Nelson actually learned to sail in this very water. And the great thing is that the journey on a Norfolk Broads holiday is the, is the great experience. So when you're travelling by car, you've got the stress of the roads, but on the waterways, it's just totally stress-free and you can go at your own pace. You make your own agenda, your own itinerary, your own rules, as long as you abide by the speed limits, of course. I don't think there's anything restrictive. In fact, there's parts of the boards that you can only get to by a boat. So if, if peace and tranquility is what you want, it's absolutely ideal. And if you want something really noisy and bustly and hustly, then you've got Great Yarmouth or Norwich. So I think there's something for everyone. And there's no restrictions at all. You take it at your own pace. That's what's the beauty of it, really. The increase in domestic holidays and the decline in overseas travel was initially driven by cost and the recession. But many other factors have contributed to the continuation of the trend, including a preference for multiple short breaks over the year, last minute planning, and the need for quality at the right price. Wherever you decide to go, we hope you get to relax and enjoy the sights and attractions that make Britain such a popular destination for the whole world. <laughs>